Hundreds of state troopers have come to Anderson County to say goodbye to a trooper who died last week. Police say they arrested a Lexington mother after they found her passed out in a stolen car. Investigators say that she's facing more charges this midday because of where they found her infant son. I we're looking down in Richmond as you cross over into Fayette County. Things are pretty good right now, but remember, storms start to fire away here in the next couple of hours, and we'll get into those details in just a few minutes. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT News at Noon. And good afternoon from WKYT News. I'm Barbara Bailey. I'm Bill Bryant. Here's what's happening at noon. Friends, family, and fellow law enforcement officers are paying their final respects today to a Kentucky State Police trooper, a young man who died in the line of duty. Now, the funeral for 23-year-old trooper Eric Christman is underway right now in Anderson County. He was killed last week when his cruiser hit a semi in western Kentucky. WKYT's Victor Puente is outside the church now with reaction. It's our top story at noon. Victor. Hundreds of troopers are inside saying goodbye to one of their own who's only on the job a couple of months. Trooper Eric Christman graduated from the Kentucky State Police Academy in January. Last Tuesday, he was responding to a call of a reckless driver near the Marshall Livingston County lines. The organization Supporting Heroes says his cruiser hydroplaned and crossed into the opposite lane into the path of a tractor trailer. The 23-year-old is from Anderson County. Hundreds of police, firefighters, and friends and family from across the state have come out this morning to say goodbye. One of his fellow troopers told us he'd only been on his own for a couple of months after finishing training. He also said Chrisman comes from a family full of people who served others. His father's a retired firefighter. His mom is a Anderson County Sheriff's deputy. His brothers in the U.S. Navy had to be flown here for the funeral. His uh, several other people in the family are, are firefighters in service. His uncle is a Kentucky State Police Trooper Sergeant. Following the funeral, these first responders will lead a caravan through Lawrenceburg on their way to the graveyard. We're told they expect a big crowd as people line the streets to say goodbye. In Anderson County, Victor Puente, WKYT. Thank you, Victor. And Trooper Crispin will be buried at Sand Spring Baptist Church Cemetery off U.S. 127. A Lexington mother will be facing a judge in less than an hour now. She's accused of leaving her five-month-old son alone in a car. 25-year-old Jamie Ivey is facing several charges, including endangering the welfare of a minor. Police found her passed out in the driver's seat of a stolen car on Fiddler Creek Way. Her infant son was found alone in the back seat of a different car. WKYT's Mark Barber talked to some neighbors about the incident. Mark? We are learning more about the case against Jamie Ivey. Police say when they found the mother passed out in a stolen car, her infant son was on the same street. Investigators tell me that the five month old had been left alone in another car for at least two hours. Police say when they found Jamie Ivey around 8 45 yesterday morning, they were hit with a strong smell of alcohol. When she tried to walk, we're told she was unsteady on her feet. According to an arrest citation, the 25-year-old didn't know where she was or why she was in a different vehicle than her son. Officers tell us that they found the mother on Fiddler Creek Way in a Honda Civic that had been reported stolen. According to court papers, Ivy's son was in her vehicle, which was also parked on the road. Investigators say that the infant was in danger of being hit by traffic or overheating in the vehicle. It makes you sad when you think of someone that you had seen or even if you hadn't known them before, to be uh, so irresponsible. Ivy is facing several charges, including wanton endangerment, endangering the welfare of a minor, and receiving stolen property. She will be arraigned on those charges at 1 o'clock this afternoon. In Lexington, Mark Barber, WKYT. Mark, thank you. And police say they don't know if the child is okay. We have learned from investigators, though, that the boy was taken to UK hospital and that social services is now involved. A Lexington teenager is facing charges this midday for reportedly carjacking someone at gunpoint over the weekend. Police say it happened in the Masterson Station area yesterday. The stolen car was found overnight after it was involved in a crash. The driver ran off, two others were detained, and police say their investigation led them to the Motel 6 off Winchester Road this morning where they arrested the person suspected in the carjacking. 
A central Kentucky business is cleaning up after being damaged in an early morning fire. The fire broke out in a fan at an auto repair store on 4th Street in Paris around 6 this morning. That fire caused a water line to break, which actually helped contain the fire. No one was hurt. Well, after a brief break this weekend, showers and storms are back in the forecast to start the work week, and they're expected to stick around. WKYT meteorologist Micah Harris is live in our First Alert Weather Center now with a look ahead. Micah? Well, the clouds are really starting to appear, and that's going to help us out big time as we slide into the rest of the afternoon. It's not so much because of rain outside, it's just kind of moving on in with that disturbance to the north and northwest of us. You will see on First Alert Defender Live Radar, you'll start to see some things pop up here in the next couple of hours. 2 to 6 p.m. is probably your best bet to see some of these storms fire away, and also that gives you the best chance. At strong to severe storms. It won't be a great chance. It's not a slam dunk by any means, but isolated severe cells are possible. We're getting that first kind of complex on out of the way, getting a big break, and then the next complex comes flying on through. Planning ahead, here's your look. Sun and clouds there at midday. Then strong storms move on in. You'll get a lot of lightning. You'll get some heavy downpours out of these. That'll take you off into the evening hours, too. And the focus of the forecast, not only later on this afternoon and off into the evening, but the next several days, this wet pattern sticks with us and it does not change anytime soon. I'll show you that in your seven day, about 10 minutes. Okay, we'll see you then. We thank you very much. The U.S. Supreme Court decided today that states can continue to use a controversial drug in lethal injection executions. In November, Kentucky dropped a proposal to use a two drug execution method that included the controversial drug after botched executions in two other states. Craig Boswell has the latest now from the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court says it is not cruel and unusual punishment to use the sedative midazolam to carry out lethal injection executions. The drug was used in three states last year and raised concerns that it did not perform its intended task of putting inmates into a coma-like sleep. Justice Samuel Alito wrote the majority opinion, saying the prisoners failed to establish that Oklahoma's use of a massive dose of midazolam in its execution protocol entails a substantial risk of severe pain. Justice Sonia Sotomayor wrote a dissenting opinion, saying it would not matter whether the state intended to use midazolam or instead to have petitioners drawn and quartered, slowly tortured to death, or actually burned at the stake. Alito responded to say the dissent's resort to this outlandish rhetoric reveals the weakness of its legal arguments. The debates in this case were heated with conservative and liberal justices going back and forth about the constitutionality of the death penalty. In his own dissent, Justice Stephen Breyer said it's time for the court to take up that cause. Outside, Randy Gardner, whose brother was executed for murder charges, said there's no such thing as a humane way to be executed. But it was barbaric for my brother to kill somebody, barbaric for the state to kill him. So far, the court does not have a death penalty case on its agenda. Craig Boswell, CBS News, the Supreme Court. Kentucky wanted to combine the sedative mitazolam and the painkiller hydromorphone in executions, which had been on hold since 2010. Prices at the pump are down ahead of the 4th of July holiday weekend. According to GasBuddy.com, the national average is $2.79 for a gallon of regular, and that's down two cents over the last two weeks and down 89 cents from this time last year. Here in Kentucky, the statewide average is a little lower at $2.72 a gallon. The lowest price we found, $2.29 in the western part of the state, while the highest is around $2.99 in northern Kentucky. Drivers in Lexington are paying anywhere between 259 and 279 a gallon. A Lexington golf course is going pink today in an effort to help fight breast cancer. WKYT's Amber Philpott joins us live now from Andover Golf and Country Club with more on the second annual Komen Lexington Golf Classic. Hi Amber. Well, good afternoon to you. It certainly didn't start out as the best day to play a little golf, but nonetheless, Andover here is putting its best pink forward today for Komen Lexington. Take a look. Folks are getting ready. About 1230 here today, teams will take to the course in a shotgun start. This is the second year for the Komen Golf Classic. Monies raised here today go to help in the fight and treatment of breast cancer. And the one neat thing about Komen Lexington is that 75% of what's being raised through this organization stays here 
here locally to fund a number of programs and projects and potentially help get us one step closer to finding a cure for breast cancer. Today's event is sponsored by Community Trust Bank. I know a lot of folks, they're hoping that the rain is going to hold off so that they can hit the links for a great day of golf and raising money for such a very important cause. I've already asked, had one person ask me, Amber, are you going to play a little golf? Boy, I wish I could here today because any day in my book they get to play a little golf is a good day, certainly. But these folks, they're hoping the rain holds off and they're going to have a good time out here today at Andover for the second annual Coleman Classic. Live in Lexington at Andover, Amber Philpott, WKYT. Thank you, Amber. The event wraps up tonight at 7. There will be special prizes and contests throughout the day. The annual Race for the Cure, Coleman's largest fundraiser, is Saturday, October 3rd in downtown Lexington. All right, great cause and a pretty nice day out there. Well, after new terror attacks overseas, there are new concerns here at home about terror plots that could coincide with the 4th of July. We'll have more on the warning signs next on Kentucky's number one midday news. Also ahead, big screen heroes Batman and Jason Bourne are teaming up to take out a new villain, FIFA Corruption. We'll tell you about a new movie that's based on the scandal coming up on WKYT News at Noon. Five escapes from Blackburn this year, and it's only June. What a former corrections officer tells WKYT may have neighbors concerned for their family's safety. It could be in their house, it's something we would never know anything about. Neighbors need to be aware. Tonight at 6 on WKYT. Kentucky weather has an impact on everything we do. But when it turns nasty, that's when we call a first alert severe weather day, keeping you on top of storms both on air and on the go. First alert severe weather days, only on WKYT. Our clients come in and many times they are desperate. They've been hurt on a job, the mortgage is due, the car's about to be repossessed. The insurance people are out to do one thing. That's to keep you from getting the money you're entitled to. Our job is to make sure you get all the money you deserve. Call Morgan, Collins and Yeast, toll free, 1-888-672-6771. Integrity. Character. Dedicated. Committed to service. To serve and to protect. We are the men. The, the women. women. The present. And the future. The office of the Fayette County Sheriff. Join our team. Can you conjure enough courage to do it again? Can you keep your eyes open through seven inversions? Can you make it through every twist without calling for mama? Can you endure 4,124 record-breaking feet without wailing louder than the banshee? Can you possibly do it again? She's back and she's waiting. Banshee, only at Kings Island. This is a Morgan & Morgan consumer alert. You may be entitled to $1,500 for each and every unwanted call made to your cell phone in the last four years. Companies collecting student loans, mortgages, or any other type of consumer debt must respect your privacy. It's time to fight back against these robo-bullies. Call us to see if you're entitled by law to $1,500 per call. By law. Morgan & Morgan, for the people .com. Welcome back to WKYT News at Noon. Recent attacks overseas have prompted new concerns here at home about a July 4th terror threat. A trio of what appeared to be ISIS-inspired attacks in France, Tunisia, and Kuwait were carried out last Friday. The 4th of July holiday is a time of celebration in the U.S., but the Department of Homeland Security says that for terrorists, it could be a symbolic date when attacks could be launched. Officials say they adjust security measures, seen and unseen, as necessary to protect the American people. There could soon be another GOP contender for the race for president, and he would come from a Kentucky border state, according to sources who spoke to CNN. Ohio's Republican Governor John Kasich is set to announce his candidacy on July 21st. The formal announcement will happen at his alma mater, The Ohio State University. He's expected to run largely on his economic credentials. Disgraced FIFA soccer executive Chuck Blazer's story is heading to the big screen. Matt Damon 
Damon and Ben Affleck's Pearl Street Films will produce a movie based on the book House of Deceit by Pulitzer Prize finalist Ken Bensinger. They beat out several studios to win the film rights. Chuck Blazer is the former American FIFA executive who admitted taking millions in bribes and kickbacks over 20 years. He recently pleaded guilty to charges including money laundering, racketeering, wire fraud, and tax evasion. Singer Taylor Swift and her boyfriend, DJ Calvin Harris, are raking in the dough as the highest paid couple. According to Forbes, together the pair is worth $146 million. Now that was enough to knock last year's ultimate power couple, Jay-Z and Beyonce, down to second. The superstar duo earned just over $110 million over the last year. The reigning king and queen of country music, Blake Shelton and Miranda Lambert, made a combined $57 million, good enough for third place. Forbes will release the full list later this week. Well, they'll probably all get by, right? I think so. Uh, they're, it, they're okay. Keep it here on WKYT. Police are investigating the drowning of a Lexington woman near Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. We'll have the latest coming up in a live report on WKYT News at 1230. You got a spinning low pressure system just to the north of us, and once it spins, it actually throws off some thunderstorms into our neck of the woods. Next couple of hours, we're going to start to see those spark up. I'll explain this forecast and what you can expect out of it. Coming up. Register today at BGSG.org to enter the Bluegrass State Games. Have a ball, Kentucky. Well, right after the, right after the injury, the next day, I, I remember seeing Becker Law on television, and uh, I decided to make that call, you know, the number of the all threes. <laughs> so they took my case, and, um, and I tell you, uh, from there, it was just like, uh, like family. I mean, they did most of the work for me. It was a great experience. Serious, experienced results. Call the Becker Law Office, just dial threes. But you said this guy was the best. Oh, he's a horrible stylist. What? He's the best at paying claims fast. Really? Mm-hmm. Paid mine in just one day. One day? Yeah. Wow. In just one day, we approve and pay. One day pay, only from Aflac. Want to save energy and money? By replacing an older refrigerator or freezer, you can save hundreds of dollars on your energy costs. And we'll pick up and recycle the old one for free. Turn that old appliance into cash. To schedule your pickup, call today. Bluegrass Energy and Intercounty Energy, your Touchstone Energy Cooperatives. This looks good. I think I'll try it. Now I need a package of beef. Oh, Kentucky Proud's on the label. I wonder if a Kentucky farmer really raised it. We are the Bach family from Bath County, Kentucky. You've got to love what you do. I love farming. I feel I'm really blessed to be able to work with my family. We try to do the best job that we can so that the consumer is satisfied. It's a good life. Kentucky Farm Families, feeding Kentucky, feeding the world. This summer, join Subway restaurants and amateur athletes from across the Commonwealth for the Bluegrass State Games. For more information, visit bgsg.org. Have a ball, Kentucky. Get more news every weekday starting at 4. More tracking. A tense situation this afternoon. More alerting. With a breaking news alert. More protecting. Good old thunder WKYT and lightning. WKYT News from 4 to 6.30. Followed by the CBS Evening News with Scott Pelley. Tracking, alerting, protecting. WKYT First Alert Weather. Now, your zone-by-zone zone forecast with meteorologist Micah Harris and First Alert Defender. Well, if you look outside, you think it could rain on you at any moment, but that's not the case right now. You give it another two hours, and I think that's when you'll start to see some showers and thunderstorms spark away. But at the moment, it's pretty calm. It's pretty quiet. There are a couple of sprinkles here and there. One lone shower is about to travel through Oneida, already getting the first effects of that. The heavier bout will go just south of downtown as you cross over toward the Buckhorn area here in Perry County. Heads up, Buckhorn. I'd give it another 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and you'll start to see this travel right through your neck of the woods. Let's look back toward the west. I want to show you this. Not much happening 
and south and southwestern portion of our viewing area. But I want to show you this. You see, I threw the satellite on this, and satellite shows those clouds starting to appear. When the clouds start to appear, something's building. And you see these little blips right here. You see how the, the clouds are a little bit whiter, the brighter color of white than, say, the gray area back behind that? That's building clouds. And when you build the clouds, you can start to get showers, and then it'll develop into thunderstorms. What you're going to see here in the next couple of hours those clouds building right down this line, right through here, where you're getting a lot of that sunshine. That's where the most energy is located. You'll see that spark away. It is sunny and warming up there. And portions of Rock Castle County, Mount Vernon, Jordan Smith sent this one in, one of our weather watchers. 77 degrees, approaching 80 degrees at this moment. We'll be there in the lower 80s for most. Strong th uh, thunderstorms will develop, I would say, 2 to 6 p.m. That's your best bet. And once they pop up, you'll get some strong storms out of that. But the possibility of some severe storms, too, we'll need to be watching that. 2 to 6 p.m. is your best bet to see those roll on through. And they could even go upwards of 7, 8, 9 p.m. There's a possibility over in the far east in southeastern zones. But that's your best timing for strong to severe weather. So we'll be watching that active weather pattern. It does not stop here. Once these move through, we got more days to go uh, before we can call it quits there with the weather. Really nice temperatures, though. That's what the rain does for you. It kind of holds your temperatures down. We'll be sitting there in the low to mid 80s there for the weekend. I'm going to show this graphic each and every day because I know you guys have a lot of plans coming up on July 4th. Big weekend in store. 40% chances of rain right now. We'll be able to jot that down, have a little bit more confidence on it coming up in the upcoming days. Here's your seven day. And look at the percentages of rain. 40, 60, 40, 60, 44. I mean, you get the drift. There is a decent chance of rain each and every afternoon in our forecast. And that does, guys, include the 4th of July. Mm. <laughs> Have a plan B. Just All go right. ahead and start preparing. All right. Yeah, okay. There you go. Thank you, Mike. We'll be ready. We'll come back in a moment on WKYT News. John Calipari talks about the challenges at Kentucky. And a U.K. player talks about battling back from injury. Dave Baker's next with sports. And checking stocks as we head into the afternoon, obviously with the situation in Greece and other circumstances, the major market indicators are way down. In the future, exercise is easy. Entertainment is interactive. Your virtual reality session is terminated. Children aren't always what they appear. Huh? And life's most elusive questions will be answered. I'm a cop. I don't believe in little green men. Academy Award winner Halle Berry returns. Never a dull moment with you, is there? Not if I can help it. Don't miss the extant season premiere CBS Wednesday. High in the sky, tethered by a wire. Push yourself beyond and experience your greatest thrill. Thrillsville, now open at the Red River Gorge. Visit us online. You didn't have any injuries from the car wreck. I think the wreck was your fault. We're not covering all that. That's all the money your claim is worth. Of course you can see a doctor. Just a doctor that we choose. If the insurance company is giving you the runaround, call me. I'm attorney Darrell Isaacs, the hammer. If you've been hurt in a car wreck, simply call Isaacs and Isaacs instead of trying to deal with the insurance company. Call me the hammer as a way to go down to 553 Free TVs, free Chromebooks, and 0% financing for six years during the 4th of July sale at Sleep Outfitters. This Sealy Pillow Top Queen Set with Gel Foam, now just $4.99, plus a free TV. Sealy Mattress Sets as low as $1.99. Save up to $600 on adjustable mattress sets, including Sealy Hybrid and Optimum. Free TVs, free Chromebooks, and 0% financing for six years. Find these great offers and more during the 4th of July sale, happening now at Sleep Outfitters. Days like this are getting harder to find We're long on life, but short on time When I get a chance to kick back and unwind I live for Myrtle Beach Days Myrtle Beach Days got blue in the sky Not a care in the air, ocean breeze blowing by Just sitting on the sand, soaking up the sunshine I live for Myrtle Beach torture of an elderly woman in a nursing home. Her grandmother was being abused. Nationwide, about one in three homes have been cited for abuse. Nursing home abuse happens daily, and our loved ones need protection. If you or someone you love has experienced nursing home abuse, 
Call 800-800-4600. If your loved one has suffered from malnutrition, dehydration, broken bones, or bed sores, don't wait. Call Hughes and Coleman. Call 800-800-4600. You need to act now. Now open in the Red River Gorge, Thrillsville. Challenge your kids with safe outdoor fun and obstacles the whole family can enjoy. Visit us online. Tracking, alerting, protecting. WKYT First Alert Weather. The SEC does a summer teleconference to help promote their sport of basketball, but around here, basketball never stops. Of course, John Calipari coming off a week in which he landed a recruit that could make his next class number one again. I still love the Cape. And he saw six of his guys go in the NBA draft. So one of the questions he got today, why so much recruiting success? You would think it's easy. Every kid would want to come. That's not the case. So, you know, we're, we're trying to find kids that want to do this, that it's that uh, understand how hard a challenge this is. Also on today's teleconference, Cal said Alex Poitras had done such a good job rehabbing his surgically repaired knee that the other leg now had to catch up. Poitras spent more time in street clothes than in uniform this past season due to that ACL tear. His coach said he still needs two more months of work, but Alex told us on Friday he's close to being back to 100%. Yeah, close. So trying to say I'll probably be cleared end of August, probably. So, you know, um, just keep on doing my rehab, keep on doing what I need to do and just try and get healthy and try and get back out there. I mean, I'm doing all the lifting and conditioning with the team. I'm not playing with them or anything, you know, but I am running on the track with them, um, doing pool workouts with them, stuff like that. Final round of the PGA's Travelers Championship yesterday on WKYT. Paul Casey, four shots off the lead. Third hole. How about two shots off the lead after the Eagle, the shot of the day at the Travelers Championship. 13th hole, Bubba Watson with an Eagle of his own. This is on the backside, and he moves to 17 under par. That's a three shot lead. But Bubba couldn't hold on down the stretch. They'd end up in a sudden death playoff, second hole of the playoff. Watson with a putt to win. Hubba Bubba. Now he heads to the place where he lives, the Greenbrier over in West Virginia for the Greenbrier Classic. Tonight on the Big Blue Insider with Dick Gabriel, UK analyst Mike Pratt breaks down the future of the seven Wildcats heading to the NBA. And we'll hear about Carl Anthony Towns' first weekend with the Timberwolves. That's at 6 on 630 WLAP. But guys, for now, that's a look at sports. On the hey, Buzz, we appreciate it very much. Thank you. There's more to come in our next half hour of WKYT News. Lexington police are hoping you can help them identify two wanted men. After receiving more than $35,000 in donations from the community, the Lexington Humane Society received a much-needed new air conditioning unit. We'll have the latest on that coming up. That new air conditioning unit cost $35,000, an amount that the Lexington Humane Society exceeded in donations in only seven hours. After years of repair late last week, the center's more than 10-year-old HVAC unit that helps keep the dog kennel room cool with the dust. Putting the nonprofit organization in need of thousands of dollars for a replacement, meanwhile leaving the dog room housing 84-legged friends without working AC. So workers at the Humane Society quickly jumped into action, asking the public for help, and the community responded bringing in the needed money in just a matter of hours. So this morning it was out with the old and in with the new, making for wagging tails and smiles all around. It's a very happy day. I will tell you, lots and lots of um, animal care technicians and adoption specialists are going to be very excited about the air workings today. We were overwhelmed with excitement and um, love for the community. We are so lucky to live where we do and, and have the support that we do from our community. Overall, the Lexington Humane Society received more than 600 donations after putting out that call for help. In Lexington, Hillary Thornton, WKYT.